So this is a video to explain how to set up your Nest thermostat when one is already installed in the house that you're moving into. So the first thing you're gonna do is download two apps. And so if you wanna zoom in here, the first app is called the Nest app. And the second app is called the Google Home app. Now what you wanna do with the Nest app is connect your thermostat to the Nest app. And then with the Google Home app, you can add other users to the home, to the account. So the first thing is first is download those two apps. The second thing is setting up your Nest to the Wi-Fi. So the Nest was designed by actual, actually Apple engineers. It kind of works like an iPod. So you're gonna go here to confirm and move forward through menus. You're gonna go down here like an iPod. And then to go back, you're gonna press up, up here. And then to scroll, you simply scroll left and right, just like an iPod. Actually, the people that invented this thermostat used to be Apple engineers, and they figured out that a vast majority of thermostats weren't getting programmed, which they attributed to being a design failure. So they kind of made it like an iPod. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into settings, and then you're gonna go find, usually it's all the way at the end, but you can just cycle through. You're gonna connect it to the network. Placement downstairs, network. So here's our Wi-Fi network. So you're gonna connect it to your network. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect your Nest to your app by clicking here. And so mine is already connected, but you're gonna get a pin. And then from that pin, you're gonna plug it into this Nest app to connect it to your Wi-Fi. And then you can give it a label. And then you can see mine is bedroom and mine is downstairs. And then from this app, you can control your Nest from anywhere. I generally like to operate in this Nest app. Uh, the Google Home app is just to connect different users, so pretty much I only used it just once, but I find this app to be more user-friendly. And that's pretty much it. Again, just um, some quick um, design features. Again, what I'm doing is I'm going up here to go out of the menu. And pretty much there's a number of ways to use this, which would probably be an entirely different video. What I usually do is click on mode, and depending on how hot or cold it is, it's summertime right now. I just set it to how I want it. Below means the system is working. And if it was heated, the system would turn red. And again, I can control this all on my phone, as you can see here. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions.